Бог. Do a little tidying of the bench here. Here, Brian, you got one more point. I'm just gonna set it on top right here. Let's yeah, those on. are extras. Okay. I grabbed like a dozen right, extra. Throw these away. How to, well, we'll do a, uh, this will be an informal, just quick little yeah. bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. What's going on, guys? We are, I am, we are, but I drove down yesterday from Michigan down here to Georgia. It is May. I believe it's already May. May 2nd. Time flies when you're having fun. May 2nd, and um, we fly tomorrow for Reading at like 8, 8 and some change we fly out in the morning, yeah. 8.30. Um, and I've never been. And I'm doing some last minute prep. I'm getting some arrows together. Gotta go get a sight tape. Pretty much everything I should have done like a week ago. <laughs> we'll be at the Whatever. Six yeah, really, but our flight. Means I'm gonna pull all my dirt. Just kidding. Okay, George, what are we doing right now? We are about to glue some Easton 140 grain tungsten points into Chris's 380 X10 Pro Tours. You love these, right? Yeah, so great. the thing is, is most people don't really know how to glue a point in an arrow. They want to hold this with pliers and they want to heat it up and put glue on it and then stick it into the shaft. Well, if this gets too hot for your fingers, it's too hot for your shaft because there's a bond between the carbon and the little aluminum core there in the end. And if you get the aluminum core too hot, you could damage the shaft. So you have to be very careful about how much heat that you put on the shaft. So I'm gonna show you how to do this without getting the point too hot for your fingers. General rule, if it's too hot for your fingers, it's too hot for the shaft. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so first start off, well, my torch is being a, I need a lighter. I'll just put a lighter next to it. Okay, light the torch. Take two. There we go. So you want to keep the flame pretty low. You don't have to have it really jetting out of there and it being super hot. But the first thing that you want to do is warm the point up a little bit. I'll turn this so that you can kind of... So warm the point up a little bit so that the glue doesn't instantly solidify when you touch the glue to the point. And then take the point, and then you just put just like a, uh, just a little booger of glue on the end of the point right there like so. All right? So the next thing, warm that up again. Right? And you notice it's not too hot for my fingers. And then I'll put that in, and then watch this. So you notice I want to get that glue worked into these little glue grooves here. So I kind of give it a little in and out to make sure that the glue gets down in those grooves and I'm spinning and pushing the point in. And then that last little bit, note that the glue isn't too hot to just wipe off with my finger because I don't have the point too hot for the shaft. So now let's test it and we'll make sure that the point is in there nice and tight. So check this out. I'll take the arrow and you hear that little bit of a buzz or a little bit of rattle. So mm -hmm. I didn't get enough glue on the shank of the point. Really? Yeah. So if the point is loose inside the shaft, it longer distances like 90 meters, it could cause this shaft to fly different from the other shafts if the other shaft points are tight. So uh, you wanna make sure that you get those points in there. So we're gonna redo it? We're gonna redo it. I'm just gonna take it out. So you notice I'm holding the shaft up here 
and I'm going to glue that up and just as soon as I start feeling a little bit of heat then I'll take it away I'll use a pair of pliers to draw the point out of there it's not too hot for me to hold I'm going to get a little bit more glue and these points are a little bit longer than the regular tungsten points so I'm going to kind of just we'll get a little bit more squeeze out so it won't be quite so tidy but I'll warm that up again. George, I swear I learn something new every time. There's always these, all these little bitty tricks. And just roll that up and get rid of it. There's all these little bitty tricks that I can't ever remember to. There, that's oh, perfect. Do that again, do that again. Nothing. Nothing. So that's a well installed point. It won't pull out. It won't make your arrow fly funny at very long distances. Like Redding. Like Redding. 101 yards, baby. No. No. That was good. No. No. That one's good. That's the one I did. That one's good. I did one. So you got one. You're doing good. And I raised it up. It shoots a little hole after that. Relationships. There's your own. It's already gonna be me. He's not going to be here long, he's not going to writing, and he's not going to Gator Cup, because he's a loser. <laughs> See what I did there? Well, we're working our way back around Archery Learning Center. I need to get my mark still, so we're going to do that now. George is just double checking his. This is Reading Prep 2018. My sight is at 40. Which is 20 though. Ooh, low, yeah. Oh yeah. That is a 60 yard sight setting right there. It's not a one handed operation. Point. Upside down knock. Got it. One click. <laughs> do it, do it. Thought that was bad. That was good. Sight marks are good. My allergies are killing me, and uh, but I'm doing very well at uh, 90, 90 yards, 91 yards. I'm very happy with this. Um, this is the big 101 yard dot, and I have pretty decent size group right there. Very happy with that. Isn't that on the wrong dot? That's on the wrong dot. I know. There's really a zero. I'm supposed to be shooting at this one. There's a zeros. And I attempted a few times and I missed that one. He chickened I, out on the I hit that yard one. dot and went down to the big one. Okay. He so was just zero. trying to feel Shh. better. Shh. <laughs> I didn't get to shoot because Chris was hogging it. Look uh, how many arrows he shot. 
o'clock. <laughs> I'll shoot at the 88 yarder next time. Yeah.